been up since 4am this morning um, on the bike in the dark just trying out these Baja Design XL80s. Now I have ridden all around Queensland with these. I've probably done oh, probably near on 5,000 kilometres with these lights. Out of that, I'd say a good probably 1,000 would have been at night time. And I tell you what, I don't know what you've done Baja Designs, but man, these lights are bright. They are super bright. Uh, so what I want to do is just do a quick review on them. So I'm going to cover the things I don't like about them and the things I do like about them. I'll start with the things I don't like first. And now I'm going to talk about the things I do like about them. Bright. They are just bright. Insanely bright. Crazy, crazy, crazy bright. Um, you do have the option of high and low beam on them as well. Uh, so I'm running the Hex Easy Can on the BMW F800. So that means I can set high beam and low beam to different settings for these lights. So I think at the moment I've got them high beam and low beam at night time and I'm confusing myself <laughs> let me start again so with the hex easy can high beam daytime the lights are at 100% at high beam nighttime the lights are at 100% at low beam daytime I've got these lights set to 20% and low beam nighttime, I've got them set to 10%. So they kind of run like a daylight running light. Um, I just got them set a bit brighter for the day at 20% because it's brighter and it's probably a bit harder to see. But they are still quite bright. I'm even thinking of actually setting the uh, low beam to 10% as well, away from the 20%. But so they are quite bright. Occasionally I do get the odd car flash me when I'm coming towards them. But if you want to be seen or you want to see these XL80s, crazy 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 bright um, they are big and they are heavy they're, I think they're around about a kilo each um, I haven't weighed them but just holding them when I took them out of the box they come really well packed as well uh, it was quite an easy install it probably only took me about half an hour to hook all them up um, I did buy some good brackets aluminium brackets and they snapped within about 200 meters of the first bit of corrugation I hit so they were rubbish they were money not well spent so I ended up going down to a local hardware store and I just bought some really cheap brackets at $12 each and they are rock solid. They just clamp onto the um, TourTech crash bar there. They don't vibrate, they don't move. Nighttime corrugation, they just, they just like the headlight and the bite. They just sit there perfectly, not a problem, no vibration. Um, as for brightness, I think they are 9,500 lumens each. If, uh, if they're not, I'll just throw a, how much they are up in the top right there. But uh, so together, what's that? 18, 19,000 19, lumens plus the high beam on the headlight as well. So they are absolutely super, super bright. They're 80 watts each. And I think they're the only LED manufacturer to run their LEDs at 100% capacity. Uh, from what I can gather, all the other LED manufacturers, they run their lights or their LEDs at about 75%. I don't know if that's to do with overheating or longevity or whatever. But uh, Baja Designs, like most LEDs, they say 30,000 hours for these lights, which is uh, a lot of night riding. And, uh, and they come with lifetime warranty as well. So the front, rechangeable, uh, rechangeable. The front, you can um, change the lenses around so you can get like full spread. You can get, these are a combo, so the top, top half of the lenses on, this bo on the uh, lights are clear and the bottom half are uh, lens you know for, for a bit of spread so they're the combo driving combo you can get the spot or you can get the full spread as well uh, they're easy to change the lens four allen screws cruise, uh, allen crew four allen screw they're easy to change four allen screws and you can just pop that front cover off change change that lens and there's a rubber seal in there chuck it back on and they're good to go they say they can be water blasted i uh, have actually water blasted these to get bugs and mud and everything else off them and uh, there's nothing, nothing's leaked into them so far. They've been pretty darn good. Uh, I've also got these other little Denali spotlights on the bottom. <laughs> yep, they're 50 watts each. They don't really do much at all. Um, and even with the with the Baja design lights on, if I flick those other ones on, I can marginally tell that they've even come on. So I pretty much I don't even use them anymore. 
Um, and like I said, they are big, they're big lights. They're not small. I think on a smaller bike, they might look a bit funny, you know, oversized, but on a big adventure bike, they kind of blend in okay. Big bike, big lights, big fun. <laughs> anyway, all right, XL80s.